You're welcome. For some time now, we have been learning from the book of John, chapter 11. We have been seeing how Jesus went to the family of Mary and Martha to raise Lazarus from dead. And I'm saying to you, according to the word of the Lord, that every one of you has there, God has a plan to resurrect one seems dead back to life again. There is hope for every man. There is hope for every woman. There is solution for all of us. But then, as we intend to receive from the Lord, we want God to intervene in our lives and families. We need to know, are there things that are to be resolved? You see, before Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, he gave an instruction. Look at the instruction. John chapter 11, I read verse 39. Jesus said, take ye away the stone. Jesus is saying, I can heal him. I can bring him back to life again. I can solve this problem, but take ye away the stone. What is the stone? You see, the stone here is an entrance that we in the Lazarus from coming out of the tomb, the same way for you and for me. We need to identify the stones in our lives. What are the stones that are in the miracles? You prayed before, you didn't get it. You were at the program before, you didn't get it. You were open for it before, you didn't get it. What are the stones? The Lord sent me to tell you what the stones are. So do help me to write vertically. S-T-O-N-E, stone. Vertically, let's find out what the stones are, what God told me to tell you. S, the stone, is the sin of self-centeredness. The sin of self-centeredness. You know, there are believers that say, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. I'm serving the Lord. But they are self-centered. They are serving themselves. They are selfish. Listen, you do not serve your wife well. You do not serve your husband well. You do not serve your children well. You are not generous to anyone. You are not helping the needy. You are not helping the poor. And you will expect God to give you. Mm -mm. It says to you, that self-centeredness, you need to repent of it. Self-service must stop if you want God to intervene in your matter. And so the Lord sent me to tell you, that the sin of self-centeredness, we need to repent of it. That is the stone number one, T in stone. What are these stones we need to take away? Jesus says, take ye away the stone. What is the stone? T, talkativeness. Talkativeness. You see, some of us will talk down ourselves. And then sometimes we'll talk down others in our self-defense. When we talk anyhow about other people, you talk them down, you abuse them, you use bad languages, you use derogatory language of people, you, you demean people. You say things that defame them and debase them. You talk about your pastor in a way that it shouldn't be. You talk about your husband in a way it shouldn't be. You talk about your sister or your brother in a way it shouldn't be. You talk about your neighbor in a way it shouldn't be. And you say, I'm believing for miracle. God says to me to tell you that that is the stone, that talkativeness. That talking down others, that self-defense is a stone. Remove it. Oh, in stone is offenses unforgiven. Offenses unforgiven. You see, some of us are believing for miracles, but we are holding grudges. We are bearing grudges. And we are not just obedient to God in saying, forgive and forget. Forgive and let go. For example, you wanted to marry a brother. You believed you loved him. But he says he's not convinced, and because he married another person, you are holding some grudges against him. That grudge will hinder your miracle. You have a sister, who's, a brother who, 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 who you felt, I mean, the brother said, I should have married her. But she said, no, I'm not convinced. And because she went for the other person, your heart is causing the marriage. That act of annoyance, that act bearing grudges, no matter the prayer you pray, you cannot get miracle. That's the stone the Lord told me to tell you that that offense is unforgiven. Take it away. And for the youth, for you may just be obstinacy. You are just stubborn for nothing. That child that is stubborn for nothing. And you want God to intervene. You want God to grant you success. That obstinacy, repent of it. Offenses, unforgiven, and obstinacy. We need to get to the, That is the stone. 
That's the stone. And in stone, the stone the Lord wants us to get rid of, negative confession. You see, there are some people, like Mary and Martha, they were saying, in their own case, they thought the miracle was not going to be now, it will be later. Some people are like that. It's not for me now. I've been there before. I'm not expecting to get it. When you make negative confession, that stone, that negative talk, neutralize miracles that negative thought even when god is about to do it may negate it and may cancel it up and that's what we say if you want to get solution to your life if you want to get miracles for your life if you want god to raise the lazarus and get him back to life again listen to me take ye away the stone of negative confession and in stone take away the stone of expectation that is diminished some of us we are coming to programs not prepared. We are not expecting anything. We are not believing for anything. Some of us, even as you listen to me, you are not having any definite expectation. Expectation is diminished. And because you lack expectation, and you engage in endless argument, why are they doing it like this? Why are they not doing it like this? That is a stone that is injuring the miracles why is it we have the program, large program, international program, and new converts, newcomers, visitors get their miracles. But members of the church, leaders in the church, still carry bodies and yoke around because of this stone. The stone of sin, of self-centeredness. The stone of talkativeness, talking down others. The stone of all offenses, unforgiven, and obstinacy. The stone and negative confession, neutralizing our miracles. And then the stone E, expectation that is diminished. When we lack expectation, when we take away the stone, according to the Lord, it says, take ye away the stone. I will come and heal him. I will come and save him. I will come and deliver him. And the Lord will intervene in that life in Jesus' name. Can we close your eyes and begin to confess, O oh Lord, the stone that I've seen, this self-service, this sin of self-centeredness, I repent of it today. Forgive me for always wanting to serve myself. Have mercy of me for not helping my wife, not helping my husband, not helping my neighbor, not helping the needy, not supporting anyone, being selfish, be self-centered, forgive my self-centeredness. Talk to the Lord and say, Lord, my talkativeness, the way I talk too much, I talk down others. I speak ill of other people. I say I'm a Christian. I say I'm believing for miracle, but my negative words, oh Lord, forgive me for them. And then Lord, the offenses I'm holding, the grudges I'm bearing, that brother offended me. I don't like the comment he made. I don't like the thing he did. He didn't marry me. She didn't marry me. And you are bearing hatred. And you are bearing grudges. And that has hindered your miracle. Oh Lord, I pray, forgive these my offenses. I take it away. My negative confession, my bad language, my negative confession that have neutralized my miracle, have mercy upon me. Change my word to good from today. My expectations that have been diminished, now I believe. Now I expect. Now I come open and believing. And I know you will take these issues away. You will resolve these matters in my life. You will intervene in my life and family. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. If you have prayed along with me, let's pray together. Almighty God, I thank you because there is nothing too hard to, for you to you too. Every matter concerning us, you will resolve today in Jesus' name. As we take away the stone, the stone of self-centeredness, self-service, talkativeness, the stone of obstinacy, the stone of offenses we have been bearing, and the negative confession, and the expectations that we have that has been diminished. Lord, we ask, you will forgive us, you will take away this stone, we take away this stone, and we say, oh Lord, in alliance with you, we have taken away this stone, you have ebbed up by your grace, and it's moved away. We say now, Lord, raise this man to life again. Raise this life to life again. In the name of Jesus, I pray what seems dead will come alive again. That life will come alive again. In the name of Jesus, the long-awaited miracles, the long-awaited miracles, this week, oh Lord, you will do for us in Jesus' name. Every one of us will find solution to all issues that have defied solution before now in the name of Jesus. Newcomers will be saved. New converts will be saved. 
visitors will be visited by the mighty power of God. But more than that, even we that are old timers, we that are standing believers, we that are leaders in this church, we that are ministers and believing, the burdens we have been carrying, you will lift them off our shoulders in Jesus' name. You will bless every one of us because the stones are taken away. Thank you for answering us. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. It is done. Make sure that stone that is taken away is not the place back to the tomb again. The life that seems gone will be resurrected alive well again. God bless you. It is a wonderful time in the presence of God. A solution for you, even at this time. God bless you.